Now I just want to tell you about this condition which is called hole in the head, hole in the head disease or hexamita, um, related to head and lateral line erosion, H -L -I -M -N -L -L -E, as it's known, and it's really believed to be deficiency of vitamin A and C in the diet, and it used to be extremely common, particularly in fish such as discus and oscars, and because it's very much diet related and these fish were very commonly fed foods like ox heart, lots of bloodworms, red pellets and things that are very high in protein and typically lack vitamins such as vitamin A and C. Now with the common foods that are available now such as New Life Spectrum pellets we find that this sort of condition is extremely rare. So ensuring that you feed a good diet of um, vitamin rich food pretty much ensures that this condition will not happen. But obviously sometimes in the um, command of care you get fish that someone else has unfortunately fed for a period of time, particularly in some of the Asian countries that feed heavily with high protein foods like bloodworms still this condition can actually come about. Now there are various products on the market that can be relatively effective Clout, Furin 2, but really going to your vet and ordering some metronidazole is by all accounts the most effective way of killing the problem and then changing diet of the fish and ensuring that they are eating foods like New Life Spectrum and the problem with fish like discus is quite often they don't want to eat the new food so what you need to do is feed the old food and mix the new food in with it and um, swash it round so it creates like a slurry and introduce a little bit of the spectrum and then slowly increase the amount of spectrum until they're predominantly eating the spectrum and then you'll find that the problem will not come back again so water quality and nutrition is really the key to keeping fish so obviously make sure your water quality is good, check your KH, make sure it's not zero. For discus make sure it's at least two, if not four. Make sure your pH is right, it's slightly acidic for these fish. Make sure your temperature is right, nice warm sort of 28-30 degree temperature. And then you'll be in good stead with these fish and they love to be together so having plenty in the tank is certainly a good thing. So get yourself a bit of metronidazole. Um, just Google instructions for administering it and as I said you may need to go to your vet to get hold of this sort of medication but if it's a big beautiful discus like this it may well be worth it some aquarium shops might have their own little stash but it's not something you can necessarily buy over the counter depending where you live of course so once again Hole in the head was a very, very common problem, and now it's not. Once that white tissue sort of falls out, this fish will be left with like a crater in its head. And it can really develop very quickly if the immune system of the fish is not able to defend it. Very rarely ever seen anymore. I don't see it much anymore. Once again, because of the quality of the foods we're feeding, and it used to be extremely common but improvements in diet have made a massive impact